I mean, that game, it's, it's, you know, it's, it's, it feels like it's been so far or so long since that game. Um, that was a very emotional game and, um, you know, for, for many of our guys. And, but we have a new, new group of guys and, and really the only guys that were uh, there were our, our sophomores who are now seniors. And, um, they remember everything, the emotions, the intensity of that game. And, um, you know, they, they, it's their turn and, and, and they hope to replicate the success of our two, 2019 team. You were, the, you were the defensive coordinator before you became head coach. That was a great game. I was there, 13-7, right to the end. Just what, are you, what do you remember from that game, the, the feelings that you had kind of after that game ended? Um, certainly disappointment comes to mind. You know, I, I, I think uh, it, was, it was certainly hyped up like it was meant to be that they won the game when, you know, as defensive coordinator, having guys out of position, I, I felt we lost the game more than anything. Um, so, you know, we would have liked that opportunity back to, uh, to get in there and, you know, go into overtime and see what ha would happen. But, you know, it ended like it did. Not much we can do about it. Just move on. I mean, it was wild. Like, we knew they were a great team, and we knew we were a great team. Uh, of course, the weather was a big factor. I mean, you could barely see 20 yards. But, I mean, it was a great game. It was a great experience, and uh, we're hoping for a similar result. As you just said, you think weather's going to be a factor again on Friday, right? I mean, I saw 80% chance of rain, so it'll yep. be a fun one. It'll be a fun one. Uh, yeah, it's definitely something I remember pretty well. Um, I was on the right side of the line, took a couple steps too deep, spun back, guy hit me saw a ball in the air and that was kind of it. I mean, the ball was gone, didn't even look. Just looked over at my other defensive end, Will Bothwell, saw his emotion. I just was in shock. Didn't really know what to do. How excited are you to be facing off against Darian? Um, I mean, it's a, it's a tremendous opportunity for, for our team, our program, and our kids are excited. Uh, um, it's a, probably the hugest game, the biggest game of the year for us. And um, obviously there's a lot of history between Newtown and Darien. And, um, you know, I know, you know Darien's excited to get out there and play, and our guys are excited to go out there on Friday night. And uh, um, it's been a battle with Darien for the last few years, so expected to be a battle on Friday too. When you see Newtown on the schedule this year when you're going through it, look, you know you're going to be the quarterback. Do you feel like that maybe there's some unfinished business for you guys? Absolutely, yeah. We know how much those seniors in 2019 were dedicated and how much they gave into the program. So as soon as we saw that, we knew we had to, and 2018 too. So we, we know when we saw that week three, we were like, we're going to take it one game at a time. When we get to week three, it's really really got to, got, got to get going here so it's, it's just a lot of energy at school right now uh there everyone kind of knows the circumstance and we're expecting a big turnout on friday so everyone's excited you know you you've gotten off to a great start in your varsity career uh <laughs> and this will be your biggest challenge are you are you in any way nervous or is this just business as usual for you i mean business as usual there's always a little nerves that come to every game but you know nothing that you can't just overcome uh, do you think you've ever played in front of a crowd that's going to be as big as the one you're about to see? Definitely not, but I just won't let it affect me. Tune it out? Yeah. You know, what's the buzz been like around the school of, of is it excitement or like people like coming up in the hallways and saying like, hey man, like, you know, go out and win this one? Um, I wouldn't say as much as in the hallways as more just from the alumni. You know, the alumni support is just take this day by day, get ready for it. It's a big game. But be calm, you know. Um, yeah, there's sure there's energy around the town because it, everyone remembers that. It's, it was a great game, but it's more do it for the alumni, especially the kids that didn't have a chance last year. You know, the Connor O'Malley, Teddy Christensen, Jackson Walsh, Callum McNear, all those guys that were captains and really big leaders on this team that played a big impact in that game and they didn't get a shot at them. You know, we want to go out and win them, win this game for them. You know, they never had a chance. Who, who's winning on Friday, Darian or Newtown? Oh, I think we will. I mean, every team's going to say that, you know. If you don't have confidence, then why are you strapping up the pads? So. What do you think is going to happen Friday night? We're going to win.